Hey everyone, Chris Meets with Anywhere POD. In this video, we're gonna go over how to set up and configure our Shopify integration. We'll go through how you install the app and then how you can also set it up in your Anywhere POD account so that if you're also selling on Etsy that you can utilize the same products that you already have built and are selling on Etsy and how you can push those over to Shopify as well. So to get started, you're gonna log in to your Anywhere POD account and right here on your dashboard, you just need to click on connect underneath Shopify. This will take you to the Shopify app store where you can install the app. And then here, once you're in Shopify, you're just gonna click on the install app button here at the top and then approve the charges for the Shopify integration. After that, you'll be routed back over to your Anywhere POD account. And there's a few instructions here at the top on how to set up the personalization uh, inside of your Shopify store. So all we need to do to configure that is click on the link here at the top, and this will open up our Shopify theme editor. And you'll see over here now we have a block for Anywhere POD personalization. All we need to do here is move this block up to where we want it to show, and you can kind of see a little preview of that over here on the right. So we're just gonna click on this and we're gonna move it up above our buy buttons here. And you can see a little preview over here where it gets moved. You have a few additional settings that you can set over here as far as the uh, visual representation of any of the personalization fields. So if you're using a different theme other than the Dawn theme from Shopify, you can make any adjustments here to match uh, the classes that are used for your uh, form fields on any other forms. After that's done, we just need to click save here at the top to save our theme changes. And then we'll go back over to uh, Anywhere POD to finish the setup there. From here, you have the option of either uh, naming and creating a new store inside of Anywhere POD, or you can link it to an existing store that you already have set up in Anywhere POD. So if you're wanting to utilize the same products that you're already selling on Etsy, that's where you're going to want to make sure to select from this drop down your store that you've already created previously, uh, or if this is a, a new store not associated with anything else in your Anywhere POD account, uh, then you're gonna put the name in up here. So in this case, we're gonna select a new store. So we're just gonna click save on that. And now you can see under our existing store that we have Shopify connected. And you'll notice now if you create a new product or go to any of your existing products, You'll also have the option here at the top to push to Shopify. So we're just gonna select that option and this is gonna create our product inside of Shopify for us. And you can see here now this product is available in Shopify. If we click on the little drop down menu here, we can see we have an option for update personalization info. If we make any changes to this design or add or remove any personalization uh, fields, we wanna make sure that we select this update personalization info. Uh, for now though, we're just gonna go ahead and click on view on Shopify. And this will open up the product inside of our Shopify. And if we click here to preview the product, we'll see that we have this product here along with the personalization field that we can enter in here. If we wanna change the label that shows up on the personalization field, all we need to do is go back over to the design inside of our Anywhere POD account and click on edit. And if we click on the personalization field and scroll down to the bottom, we'll see now that we have a, a title here that can be listed on the product. And we'll click on update product. And now we'll go to update personalization information. And once that's complete, we'll come back over to our preview here. And when we refresh, we'll see now our title says enter kid's name. You also notice that the load time on these pages is very, very fast and there's no flash without our content here. We made sure that this was developed in a way that does not slow down your product pages at all. So all of the information here doesn't require uh, any kind of calls to a third party source to be able to pull in the information. It's all preloaded inside of your Shopify store to make the product pages as fast as possible so that it does not hurt your conversion rates. And now when someone places an order for this product and enters in their personalization information, that will automatically sync back to Anywhere POD so we can build the design automatically for you. This will work for any of our text personalization or also for any of our photo uploads.
If you have any questions about how to use our Shopify integration or anything else with Anywhere POD, feel free to reach out to us at support at anywherepod.com.